Now we're going up against the, uh, the ice people over here, the Vikings. <laughs> but yeah, we, we have $6,100 going up against two Jarls. Oh man, a bunch of Berserkers right there, and of course the Valkyries there. Nothing in the back though for heavy artillery, which is great. I don't even know if they have it. Uh, do they have any? Well, yeah, they have the long ship, but that's not really heavy artillery. It's kind of weird, like, guys holding on to a boat and then throwing it, like, two feet in front of them. <laughs> but we do have the Valkyries here. How are we going to take them on with our strictly, almost said melee, but strictly ranged units here? These guys are all ranged as well, but of course we could actually exploit that by using our ranged units. But these guys kind of fly and swoop in. I don't know, maybe, I'm definitely, get, I'm definitely thinking about getting at least one Pirate Queen. Definitely doing, definitely thinking about doing that. And then of course we have the Berserkers here, which are going to be coming straight into our units. So how can we counter that? I don't want to sink too much money into one singular unit. Maybe the, maybe the Pirate Queen can soak up those, uh, those Berserker hits. If that's the case, that'd be great. Let's get some blunderbusses here in the back. Let's get like six. There you go. Bomb throwers. I don't want to get bomb throwers because I know the Berserkers are going to jump in, hit our Pirate Queen. And then if they throw the bombs, they're going to throw it at the Pirate Queen and probably do some friendly fire. So maybe I get Harpooner off to the side. Harpooner there. Maybe get some Harpooners here in the middle as well. To hopefully take out the Jarls. And maybe I'll get some Flintlocks here as well. Just kind of as random hecking units to spend money on. <laughs> maybe we get one more Blunderbuss right here too. How many do we have? One, two, three, one, two, three. Yeah, we have six Blunderbusses. Now we get rid of one Flintlock. Yeah, let's, let's definitely get, there you go. Two more of them and then get four Flintlock guys. So there you go. Let's see how this does, though. Oh, man, the... Well, the Berserkers jumped a little bit further than I was anticipating right there, unfortunately. But it looks like our uh, Harpooners are sucking up the heckin' Berserkers here, which is good. Valkyrie over here kind of getting stuck. I don't know what's happening right there. Oh, man, two Valkyries just took out my Harpooner right there, unfortunately. The Pirate Queen over here just took out that Yarrow, which is good. I don't know how much health heckin' Pirate Queen has right now, but... Hopefully she still has a... Oh, yeah, we might win here, you guys. It looks like it's just one Valkyrie. Well, the Pirate Queen just went down right there, unfortunately. Yeah, man. Yeah, the Pirate Queen went down. If she didn't go down right there, we would have won, I'm sure. Look at that cross eyed right there. Because <laughs> it was just this one Valkyrie going up against our Harpooner and the Pirate Queen. But yeah, she went down right there, you guys. But yeah, like I said, seems like they the, the Berserkers jumped a little bit further than I was anticipating right there, you guys. So definitely want to move the Pirate Queen maybe back to here. And then, of course, push everything back. So yeah, let's, let's definitely push everything back now, you guys. Holy heck. I was not anticipating the... Uh, so what was it, like two Flintlock guys on each side? And then we had a uh, Harpooner here. Yeah, we had Harpooner there, two Harpooners here in the middle. Harpooner here, I don't think we had any cannons. Then we had a bunch of Blundabuses, so. There we go, one, two, three, and then we could have another one, two there, okay. Let's see how this does though. Now let's put them like, there you go. Actually, let's put them behind these Harpooners, let's see how that does. Let's see. Okay, yeah, that's a lot better right there. So going straight for the uh, Flintlock guys, which is good. So hopefully our Blundabus guys can kill them. That'd be great. They're all ganging up on the uh, on the on the Pirate Queen right there. Unfortunately, maybe even fortunately, because she yeah she does throw those bombs on the ground and she just did massive damage right there, killing the Valkyries and well one Valkyrie I think because there's still this Valkyrie. I saw another one over here. Yeah, another one over here. Just wrecking heckin' house. Is the Pirate Queen still alive? No, she's down. There's still Yara right here. Man, so it's just these heckin' harpooners and. Two blunderbuss guys, maybe? I don't know. This this Jarl, though. I don't know. Oh, this this one heckin' Valkyrie. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna win here, you guys. That Jarl is... Uh, yeah, we just went down right there. That's unfortunate. Man. We did a lot better that time around, though. I think we did a lot better, but... I'm really hesitant to get any bomb throwers, you know? Do I want to get a Pirate Queen, or do I want to... I don't know. Ah, man. The Pirate Queen... I don't know. She did decent damage? But we might... Ah, I don't know. Maybe, maybe if I just got a bunch of flintlock guys right here, like literally just a heckin' ton. <laughs> what, what, what would happen? What if I, okay, hold on. They're gonna jump to right, right, like right there. What if I got a bunch of flintlock guys like right here? There we go. <laughs> that way they do their one shot out on the heckin', uh, on the heckin', what do you call them right here? And then just do strictly melee to them or something crazy. That way they're kind of distracted and then our blunderbuss guys can do some range damage. I don't know. <laughs> this is just hectic right here. I can't even really see what's going on. <laughs> Jeez. Well, the Harpooners over here snatching up our own units, it looks like. <laughs> yeah, that didn't work out. That that was even worse. See, it's like the Pirate Queen. Yeah, look at that. Look at all their units. They have two Valkyries right there, two Yarls still alive. Even a heckin' uh, Berserker right there. Maybe even two of them. Yeah, well, that one's dead. Yeah, that didn't work out at all right there, you guys. Yeah, it seems like the Pirate Queen still... She she definitely did some good stuff over here. Uh, let's see. When the world... Oh, there you go. Maybe I'll put her behind a little bit like that. That way they come for the, uh, for the, these guys instead. The Flintlock guys. Let's do that instead, you guys. 
And maybe even push her back even a little bit more. So there you go. So hopefully come for the, uh, there we go. And the Pirate Queen comes in, does her bombs on the ground, and then jumping into the sky attack, maybe? Oh, why is she not doing it? Oh, there she goes. Yeah, oh, well, she did it a little bit late right there, unfortunately. <laughs> Man, well, she's just kicking the heckin' Yarl over here, unfortunately. Man, yeah, I, I, her heckin' hand is stuck behind her. She's basically got only one hand. She's still doing the bomb throwing and then the, the jumping up in the sky thing, though, so that's good. We still have a blunderbuss over here. I think all the, all the, uh... Valkyries are down, which is good. Well, she's going one-on-one -on -one with this Yarl. I don't know if she'll be able to win, though, because she still has one heckin' sword behind her back. I don't know why they keep spawning in like that. <laughs> but she's got the bomb thing right there, which is great. Hopefully the Yarl's... Oh! But we finally won right there! Golly! <laughs> Man, yeah, I, I don't know why her he heckin' hand gets... Like, that happens so many times for so many different units. Their heckin' arm just gets stuck behind them, and then they, they can't even attack properly. Which sometimes actually works in our favor, but that time around didn't seem like it worked out too well in our favor. But this time they have the headbutters, they have uh, ice archers right there, a big arrow formation for some strange reason, a brawlers right there. More uh, ice archers and then more headbutters. Kind of thinking bomb throwers, just because these guys are all grouped together right there. I'm really thinking bomb throwers. To maybe put a line of them like right here, maybe get like four, and then maybe another four like right here in front of them. So there you go. And then... I don't know, maybe Harpooner or... Let's get Blunderbuss for everything else. Headbutters right there. I, I, I guess I'll get Flintlock right there to, to bait out the Headbutter. Flintlock right there to bait out the Headbutter. And then Blunderbuss. Let's just get a bunch of them back here. So there's four right there. One, two, three, four. And then we have $700 left over. Maybe I get one random Harpooner just because, hey, why not? I don't know. I'm like, he, did, he is ranged and melee, as we saw earlier. So maybe I get, like, one random Harpooner right there. Then uh, another Blunderbuss right there. And then one random Flintlock guy, like, right here, perhaps? To kind of bait these guys out and make sure they stay in position and do not continue moving forward as the bombs keep getting thrown. So let's see how this does. And it uh, looked like it worked out really well. Oh my gosh, that looked insane. Just a huge explosion of heckin' brawlers right there. These archers should go down from each blunderbuss, hopefully. They do take quite a few hits, because remember, they are wearing their, uh, their their barrel armor, which is awesome. We even, yeah, we still have the bomb throwers alive. That's great. Oh my gosh. We're going to annihilate these heckin' Vikings, and they're all down. Man, that was nothing. We beat them so convincingly right there. Holy heck. And now, is this the last few levels? Oh, I think it is. Oh, well, yeah, and then after this, it looks like we're going pirates against pirates, I think. Yeah, because we're going up against the, uh, the, the, what do you call these guys again? The, the... Dynasty class faction going up against them for two levels and then it looks like we're going up against more pirates over here Because it says boom and then the units go down. It looks like it might be pirates against pirates right there So that's going to be kind of cool, but for right now for the dynasty ca uh, class faction So it's monkey king monks Samurai four ninjas golly no archers though. So no firework archers. We'll have to worry about them These guys are really grouped together here in the middle. I feel like we could get away with bomb throwers like, right there, get like, I don't know, three bomb throws there, three bomb throws here. There you go, three bomb throws on each side. They'll funnel into this bridge, and then maybe we'll do some mass amounts of damage and, and hopefully kill them or something like that. Blundabus is going to put them back here. Just a huge line of them. I'm just going to get a huge line of them like that. There you go, golly. Maybe we'll even get a few more bomb throws, like, right here in the middle. There you go. And then we have $100 left over. I guess I'll put one random flintlock guy, like, right here to maybe bait them out or something like that. Let's see how this does. I'm really, really banking out on them coming into here, funneling into this one. Oh god, well one of them fell into the hole right there as we saw. <laughs> but yeah, I'm really hoping that they funnel in right there. Unfortunately, it's taking our bomb throwers quite a while to reload. There's even some like miniature heckin' uh, what do you call them over here? Monks. <laughs> That's really unfortunate though. Golly. Yeah, this isn't working out too well, yeah. Seems like it, it let's move the bomb throwers back a little bit, you guys, because these guys are so far back, it takes them a little while to get to the bridge. So let's definitely move the bomb throwers back. Maybe to like right here. There we go. That might be a little bit better. Maybe even, yeah, maybe even put them like on par to where these guys are over here. So there we go. So we have $250 left over when we get one more bomb thrower, so. And there we go. So hopefully they like split up themselves right there. That'd be great. And the bomb throwers are already throwing the bombs right there in the choke point, which is insane. Good amount of damage right there. Looks like the monks just soaked up a lot of hits right there. A lot of our units just, well, just threw a bomb to our own units right there, really? Is the monkey king down? Maybe. Oh my god, these heckin' bombs are crazy. <laughs> I can't even really follow what's going on right now. But thankfully, it looks like a lot of their, their main units are down, but they're still, they still have one ninja right there. They still have three monks soaking up a lot of damage and even dealing out a little bit of damage. We have one random guy of, oh, I'm going to unit control this guy to make sure he does not die. There you go. 
make sure you just not fall off the edge or anything like that. Did I shoot the ninja? I don't know if I shot him right there. Yeah, he's still alive, unfortunately. Let me go to first person, though. There we go. Did I get the ninja that time? Ninja's still alive! Yeah, th this guy's range is, like, terrible. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Got the... Is he down? Ninja's down! That's good! Uh, oh, I'm gonna get hit, I'm gonna kill, I'm gonna get killed. Oh! Shot him right there! I'll think oh, oh, oh! Is this just the last ninja? It might just be. Uh, are we going to reload? We can, we can soak up a few hits. <gasps> There's a hit. I think. Well, we're getting hit over here, though. As long as I just get the... Cr oh, man, we're taking some hits, though. Did I get him? I think I hit him right there, but we can only take one more hit until we're dead. Oh, man, I'm aiming, I'm aiming, I'm aiming. There he is, there he is. <gasps> oh, my God, that was a crazy ending right there. Holy heck. We unit controlled him. He got stuck in this cubby over here. The monk couldn't get... Look at that. That was pure luck. He, the, the monk couldn't get at him because he has this big long stick. Oh my gosh, and we just had to keep reloading and keep, keep shooting right there. Oh my gosh. Holy heck. <laughs> Man, that was crazy cool right there, you guys. And he was the guy that was about to drown too. That was awesome. He killed the ninja, killed this guy, killed this guy, and snuck himself inside the cherry blossom right there for a nice advantageous position. Holy heck, that was amazing. Oh god. Yeah, we got a surrounding sort of meme going on right now. But yeah, the Monkey King must have gone down during the big bomb explosions during that, so that's good that he went down pretty early. That's awesome. But we have firework archers on the left and right side, on the top and bottom, looks like ninjas and monks, unfortunately, so... Ah, oh, man, I don't know how to take those guys on, unfortunately. Maybe maybe I'll get blunderbusses here to take on the archers. Because they have the barrels, they can soak up the hits. So let's, let's do that, and then maybe get bomb throwers here. There you go, get like five there, and then get like another five there. I could probably honestly get away with using flintlock guys over here, you guys. So maybe get, maybe get a couple flintlock guys to maybe bait out the hits and maybe hopefully get out at least one hit. Because they are dual wielding, so they should be able to get some hits out, alright? But, uh, one, two, three, four. Let's try to spread that out a little bit better. Eh, two, three, four. That's pretty decent. $1,400 left over, though. Let's get some flintlock guys over here to hopefully... You know, we have the bomb guys there. I'm definitely thinking maybe harpooner here. Harpooner... Let's put him on the side, though. Let's put him like that, that. There you go, on each corner, that'd be good. And uh, I'm just short a little bit. Maybe I'll get rid of that one right there, and then uh, that one right there. So now we have enough for a harpooner on each corner, that'd be great. Bombs here in the middle. Let's actually center them a little bit better, so one, two, three, four. Actually, let's put them a little bit further back. There you go, that way. There we go. Let's see how this does. I don't know, I'm not the most confident, but... Nice hit right there. Oh man, a lot of firework arrows actually missed, which is good. Oh god. <laughs> Well, one of our own guys just went in the sky right there. The monks over here did not go down from the bomb throwings, unfortunately. When the world's gone up, this guy's punching like an archer. Oh my god. Oh, that's actually decent. He's actually making it. Oh god, bombs over here killing our own units. Yeah, a lot of our own units are getting killed by the bomb throwers. I don't think this is good, you guys. Maybe I should not be using bombs in such close quarters, honestly. <laughs> yeah, look at how many arrows this guy took right there, you guys. He looked like he had like two or three heckin' fireworks in him, in him right there. Sheesh. Yeah, let's definitely get rid of the bomb throwers here. Unfortunately, I, I guess we'll have to get rid of them. But in their place, I guess we'll get Blundabus, maybe? Or Cannon? Captain? We can get at least one Pirate Queen, which is good. Let's get let's get one Pirate Queen here. And then, of course, we still have these guys up top we have to worry about. So I guess I'll just put the bomb throwers up top, then. There we go. Get three bomb throwers right there. Then we have a Pirate Queen here. Uh, Harpooner's there on the bottom. Let's see how these guys do. Okay, that did pretty decently that time, though. Not too much friendly fire right there, but it looks like it took out the, the ninja. Probably did some- Oh my god, so many of our units just literally fell out of the sky and into the heckin' hole right there. Are you kidding me? What are the heckin' odds? <laughs> oh my god! That guy is just going flying right there! Thankfully, it looks like the, uh, the pirate queen is- Yep, yeah, she just took out the ninjas, which is great. And these guys over here dominated, which is awesome. The pirate queen is hopefully gonna to soak up the hits and maybe even deal out some damage. And there's one monk there, two monks actually, three blundabuses over here, and one harpooner, which is awesome. I'm kind of thinking about unit controlling the harpooner. Let's actually try and aim down the monk. I can. Is he down? I think he's actually down. Let me get that archer. And there we go! We won right there. Nice! And now we can move on to pirate versus pirate. Oh no, yeah, pirate versus renaissance. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, this makes a little bit more sense. Although it would have been fun to do pirate versus pirate, because we didn't get to do that yet in the pirate campaign, unfortunately. Uh, so, let's see. Jousters there. Where are these guys again? Oh yeah, balloon archers and then painter guys here. I completely forgot about the painter guys. 
I don't know what we. I, I'm, I'm thinking bomb throwers again for them. I'm definitely thinking bomb throwers. Let's put them a decent distance. Maybe get like three or four of them here at the, in the in the front lines. There you go. Jousters. I'm definitely thinking harpooners to kind of counter them, you guys. Definitely thinking that. And then for the bomb throwers, there, I'm thinking they can kill them. Maybe then we can put the harpooners like all the way back here. I do know you could probably cheese it by putting stuff up here, but I'm pretty sure this guy will just fall down unless I unit controlled him. Maybe I will unit control him, honestly. Then I guess everything else will just get blunderbuss, you guys. So let's get blunderbuss for everything else. There you go. And then maybe one flintlock right here. There you go. Just kind of bait them out. And then you can uh, unit control this one harpooner right here. Can I even shoot through this? Oh, I can. Holy hell. Look at all the balloon guys. We're, we're getting hit by a lot of balloons right now, unfortunately. And I'm trying to hit the... Oh, yeah. We're, we're definitely hitting our own uh, thing right now, unfortunately. Uh, let's see. What if I aimed like this? I don't know if that's hitting anyone. But, oh god, one. Well, I just fell down right there. <laughs> well, we took a little bit of fall damage, unfortunately, but we are reeling in one archer, which is good. Should be able to start meleeing him, maybe. If not, he's. Oh, oh, and then. There we go, got him. And. Let's try and get this balloon archer. Did I get him? Uh, I. think I. I don't know. It looked like I got him right there. Don't think I did then. Because he's not coming. Oh, I got hit by one balloon. So I need to make sure I don't get hit by too many more of those or I'll go flying up in the sky and basically get killed from fall damage and be vulnerable to even more balloons. But yeah, it looks like it's just us against all these heckin' balloon archers right now. I need to take them out one by one. <laughs> yeah, there's one, uh, one, one, what do you call them right there? Blindabus soaking up a bunch of archer balloon hits right there. Unfortunately, it looks like everything's up to us. But we are taking these guys out one by one. We have a sliver of health and that's it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, oh my god. I'm gonna aim for that guy back there. The, oh god, I can't see. Oh, no, 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 no. Do not get hit. Oh! Oh my god, we're still doing pretty well right now, you guys. Holy heck. Aim for that one back. No! Man, we got hit like in the eye. No, I was like in the shoulder. Man! Sure, these guys are pretty heckin' low right there, but yeah. Well, let's definitely redo that. My guy was definitely stuck up there for quite a while. Well, let's check out these bombs. Oh yeah, that took out like all the painters right there, like instantly. Golly! And what about the guy up here? Oh, he's going down the stairs! Oh, I didn't even know that was a thing! That's cool, that's awesome! But what about the jouster? There we go, trying to get the jouster. He's trying to get his horse, at least. He's just, oh, oh, I think I actually got him right there. Looks like I hooked onto him. Which is good. Oh, there, that jouster still- Oh my god, we have like no units on the ground right now, you guys, beside me. Yeah, that- No, we're down. God, oh, man! Uh, maybe I'll get like a pirate queen, but like, that's like all of our money down right there, you guys. Maybe I'll get two captains instead. If I can- Ah, oh, yeah, I can- Oh, I can get rid of this guy and get two captains. Let's see how this does. Mm, it might work. But the bomb throwers are going to take care of all these guys right here, which is great. And even do a little bit of damage to the jousters, which is great. But of course, now it's going up against the pirates, against the jousters. And it looks like that, that that horse is down. And that, that oh, look at that, the pirate king, or the just the captain, I guess, could, took care of that one jouster. These two right here are taking care of these guys here, but we do have that one harpooner. Where is he at? Or did I get, oh yeah, I, I did get rid of him, didn't I? Yeah. But can, these guys should be able to shoot, right? They should. Maybe. I'm like, I'm aiming straight for him, but <laughs> we're like kind of aiming all over the place right now because we're getting hit by so many balloons. Oh my god. Oh my god, I'm just, I'm just aiming right here. Oh wait, which one's which? Okay, left, I think, yeah, I think left, and then right is the sword. Left is the gun, right is the sword. Let's try and get these guys down. We almost won here, you guys. Let's get them with the sword. And we won! Victory Royale! Look at that face on that captain right there. <laughs> He's got that side eye going on. What's going on with this guy right here? Oh my god. Okay, I was about to say, oh my god, does this guy die right at the end? But yeah, it looks like both of our captains actually survived right there. Yeah, definitely want to use them more often, you guys. Seems like we're, we're definitely, like, sticking to flintlock, blunt, bust, bomb thrower, harpooner, sometimes cannon, and sometimes pirate queen, but, like, pretty much never used a captain until now, so definitely want to use them more often. Now, these guys have their own version of the blunt, bust. It's the musketeer, but it takes them quite a while, like, a long time to reload, but they do not go, like, on the ground after they shoot. They have these, uh, what are they called again? I think they start with the letter H. Yeah, halberds. They have the halberds there. Fencers here on the front lines. We could probably do the same thing we've been doing lately. Maybe bait him with the flintlock guy. And then bomb throwers back here. Maybe get like three, four, five, like that. That might be decent. And then from there on, we could just get a bunch of blundabuses, maybe. Maybe harpooners. Maybe like one harpooner on each side, like we did just a moment ago. And then blundabuses back here. There you go. Let's see how this does. Basically doing the same strategy there. Well, they're not really grouping up too much. It looks like the <laughs> flintlock guy, like, went down immediately. Yeah, the flintlock guy! 
He 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 baited out all the musketeer shots. Looks like the musketeers shot the uh, the blunderbuss or uh, the, the the flintlock guy, which is great. But these halberds now are killing all of our ranged. Uh, what do you call these guys again? I forgot. That guy's basically dead. I guess we'll start killing the musketeers, but I don't think we have that good a range, you guys. So it's going to be up to the. Uh, what do you call him right there? Oh, is he down? I think he is. Oh my gosh, that's not good. Looks like our harpooner right there is down. Is it just me? It is just me. Oh my god, every time it's just me. Oh man, and now I'm dead. Man, that did not work out at all. I'm really thinking about maybe getting another captain. The captain did pretty well last time, but I don't think he can take on all these ranged units. Maybe the pirate queen, but if I got the pirate queen, put her right here to soak up the hits and stuff. I'm definitely going to put the flintlock guy right, right there to soak up the uh, the initial hit of the musketeers. But I'm putting the pirate queen right there. 400 dollars left over. We get only two blunderbusses on each side after this. I, I, I'm not really too confident in that, you guys. But he just got shot by a ton of those musketeers, which is great. Remember, the, uh, the pirate queen is able to drop some bombs as well, so she might be able to jump up in the sky. Drop. Oh, there, there she goes. And then do her little, little, like, whatever that would be, like a carpet bomb of bombs, which is great. Basically taking out all the melee right there. And then she's doing it again. And yeah, just just taking out all of them. That's great. The halberds are down. We still have one blund two blunderbusses still alive. Two harpooners still alive. And the pirate queen. Is she dead? Oh man, she just went down right there. I think she just soaked up those last hits, unfortunately. But now we've got these heckin' harpooners, which I don't know why they're not shooting <laughs> any sooner than now. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Are we going to get killed? We're going to- Oh! Man, we just got hit by like so many- Oh, look at that. Golly. Like- how many hits is that? Like, oh yeah, look at that. You can see the bullet right there. <laughs> uh, one of them actually missed right there, but yeah, what, what would that be? Like two or three, four shots right there? Golly. From like all these guys. They all just shot right there to the last harpooner. Yeah, I don't know how we're going to take this guy out. Uh, cannons? I'm definitely thinking cannons. Harpooners? I don't know. Uh, bomb throwers? Let's definitely get the cannons though. So we have three cannons there. That's decent. Blunderbuss. I, I, let's get rid of that one right there. And then we get Blunderbusses here in the middle, perhaps. There you go. I don't, I'm not really too confident, you guys. I'm just going to get blunt, a line of Blunderbusses right there. Bomb thrower. Let's just get another Flintlock guy right here to maybe bait out a second wave of, uh, whatever you call them, hits right there. That's good. None of those cannonballs really hit anything right there, unfortunately. Harpooners, right? Oh, nice. Harpooner just reeled that guy in and the cannonball got him. That's great. Maybe I'll even control one of the cannons. Nice hit right there. That's great. Got to control this to hopefully get these uh, musketeers in the back. Seems like the cannonball here actually uh, reloads a little bit faster than the, the what do you call them right there, which is great. I don't want to do any friendly fire right there. I'm going to aim for these guys back there. Got a hit right there. Unfortunately, we're down. Unf <laughs> Man. Oh, let me get this cannon guy. And got that one right there. We're just bowling for musketeers. Might have to get like three of these cannonballs, guys. There's another one right there. I'm I'm staying I'm staying ranged I'm staying like super far back because we we've got insane range with this cannonball. Oh no, man! We got a lot of good hits right there though. There's only three musketeers. <laughs> the three musk and this guy's not holding his gun properly. And he's got terrible range too. No! Wait, what? How do we not get killed right there? Oh wait, what in the world? Why are they shooting their own unit? It looked like I don't know. But uh, yeah, this guy has like medium range, not long range at all. I think we lost here, you guys. Yeah, look, look at how he's holding this gun. Oh my god, well he is able to- mm? Oh, well, I was about to say he's able to soak up hits, but he'll take like literally no damage right there and then he insta-dies right there, unfortunately. Maybe I will get a third cannon. There you go, get a third cannon, that might be good. And then 200 dollars left over, just more flintlocks, sure, why not? <laughs> just spread them out like this, I suppose, huh? So that would be like this, there we go. Just put them out like that, but three cannons going up against all of this. Uh, two harpooners here to kind of reel in the guys. That's pretty good. We're going to be aiming for the halberds and stuff. There you go. Nice hit right there, which is great. Pretty good grouping of guys in the middle there, though. Oh, God, we have a fencer right here, though. I need to take care of. There you go. Got him. But now that cannon's down. Oh, man, this isn't working out at all. Man, it's just me against everything now. <laughs> this isn't going to work. No. Okay, well, we took out them, which is good. But now the musketeers are catching up with us. Oh, yeah, we just got killed right there. Man. Okay, I need, to, I need to start all over. <laughs> Just forget about all that, you guys. Holy heck. The bomb throwers. Maybe if I spread them out a little bit like this. Maybe like that. That might work out a little bit better for their, their spread out formation that they have. Flintlock guy, I definitely do want to keep him to, to, to ban out the initial hits. So there you go. Keep him like that. But I'm, I'm definitely going to put like two waves of bomb throwers. So let's put like two, three, four. Is that going to be good? And then put another wave back here. And then there you go. And then we have $2,100 left over. 
Definitely do want to get the harpooners. They do s still seem pretty good. So I I I'll keep the two harpooners. And then blunderbusses, I'll put them at medium range. So like right here or something like that. Actually, I'll put them like right here behind the bomb throwers. So there you go. And then another line of them like that. And we have another hundred dollars left over. Let's put another flintlock guy like right there then. <laughs> see how this does. Now our unit's a little bit more spread out. The bombs here, hopefully go and take care of the halberds and stuff. Yeah, seems like they did pretty well. I definitely do feel like a cannon would work out really well in our favor right now, guys. Just something that can like snipe something from really, really far away. Halberds are still going down from the bomb throwers, which is great, but we still have these 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 blunderbusses guys here. I have to take on the musketeers. Seems like the only things that are going to be able to kill the musketeers are well there's still there's this bomb thrower here oh my gosh i'm going to control this one right here I'm going to get, oh god well we just got killed right there unfortunately what is alive Probably like one random blunderbuss or something oh yep just one lone blunderbuss back here yeah we're not going to win at all oh my gosh okay i'm gonna i'm gonna leave i'm gonna <laughs> i'm getting out of there yeah we're not gonna win at that you guys golly maybe i'll maybe i'll get the cannon Instead of all these blunderbusses here, you guys. Because the bomb thrower seems like they did pretty well right there. Maybe I'll get, like, one cannon here. Maybe one harpooner. Two harpooners. Then, I don't know. Maybe just a line of flintlock guys, like, right here and there you go. See how this does. So, yeah, the, the flintlock guys just go immediately down from the musketeers, which is good. And there's harpooners sucking up the halberds, which is great. Cannon in the back to hopefully not do any... Heckin' friendly fire, that'd be great. <laughs> I'm trying to throw these as far as I can, but these guys don't have the best range. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hide over here. <laughs> I don't know if I could actually... Oh, I might be able to hide behind this pole. Oh, God, well, we just got killed right there, unfortunately. But we do have this cannon over here I'm going to control. What? Well, the cannon just went down right there. Why, why can I never control the cannon? Oh, and that guy just went down, too. Man! Okay. <laughs> Okay, I'm definitely going to have to control the cannon right now, you guys. Hold on, let me control him. Because I do not want these... It, it feels like... I feel like the cannon actually heckin' friendly fired, unfortunately. For our own units. Because he was, he was facing our own units earlier. So, let's see. I don't know if I hit anything right there. I'm going to go first. Bird. Oh, this is pretty good. And there's a hit right there. Halberd, like, right in front of me, though. Let's see if I can get him. Let's see if I can get him. And there's a hit. Nice. And... Let's see if I can get this guy from a far away. Got him there, which is great. I'm like back into a corner right now, you guys. Oh god, no! Yeah, it's just me against everything there. Yeah, man. Yeah, I'm gonna get rid of the bomb throwers and then get another cannon. Let's get rid of those that second line of bomb throwers and get <laughs> two cannons instead. <laughs> Let's see how this does. And I'm going to control at least one of them. Take care of these halberds. These guys are soaking up a ton of hits. Oh, I thought I got two of them right there with that one shot. Nice. Seems like that harpooner's take care of that halberd. I'm gonna forget about him. I'm gonna get nice, got that musketeer in the back. Trying to aim for that one in the back. Ah, I missed. Where are these guys shooting? I don't know what they're aiming for back there. Man, ah, pretty far away. Oh, man, that, that guy went down. And got that musketeer, which is great. But there's like, ah, there's two musketeers right there. I might be able to get a collateral now. Nah. What in the world was that noise? <laughs> uh, let's get that one. Got him. <gasps> we might get him here, you guys. I'm strafing right now. There's one cannon in the middle, though. Oh! We finally got him there! Oh my gosh, that took forever! <laughs> Jeez! Man, that was pretty close. I'm sure that, that cannon right there was about to go down. I don't know if I can actually check his health after the fact. Yeah, I can't unit control him, unfortunately, but he's still alive, which is great. But yeah, those two cannons, the bomb throwers take care of the, 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 the initial units, the two flintlock guys to take out the, uh, to, to bait out the initial musketeer shots. That, that plan worked out pretty well right there, you guys. Nice! Took a little while to finally get him there. Sheesh. Yarr! Thanks for playing through the pirate campaign showing the new faction! Nice! Even though it's been like three or four months since it released. <laughs> but anyways, there we go! That's the pirate campaign. Looks like we beat it a lot faster than I was anticipating here, you guys. Holy heck! That would take us a couple more episodes right there, but no. Seems like we're able to beat it here pretty soon, and uh, yeah, we, we just defeated the spooky campaign, just defeated the pirate campaign as well, and of course, the next update for tabs Looks like it's going to be the unit creator, unfortunately. So I don't think we're going to be getting a new campaign anytime soon. It's probably going to be after that comes out. So I don't know when Tabs is going to return. But for right now, we, we beat all the campaigns here, you guys. There's nothing left for us to do unless we do, like, custom maps right now. But I don't really want to do any custom maps. And how do I even... Oh, I think I have to go... Where do I have to go? Yeah, I think I have to go to the workshop. Yeah, then here's the custom maps over here. I don't, I don't think I want to play, oh god, kill your computer and doors activating. Yeah, there's a bunch of custom maps and stuff over here, which is cool. Oh my god, there's 9,000 pages of maps right here. Holy egg. 72, 
75,000 mods. Oh gosh, there's so much. There's so much content for tabs, you guys. Holy heck. But unfortunately, this series is just me playing the main campaign for tabs, and it looks like it would just be everything here. So until they add another campaign, I guess we're just going to be putting this series on hold. So thank you guys all very much for watching. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to let me know by leaving a like down below. And if you guys want more of these awesome videos, be sure to hit that subscribe button that'll put my latest videos on our YouTube homepage as soon as they come out so you don't miss an episode because like I said, once they actually add more content to the campaign, I'm going to be returning with more Totally Accurate Battle Simulator, but that's going to be a ways in the future, I'm sure. But anyways, thank you guys all very much for watching, and I'll see you guys here next time with some more Totally Accurate Battle Simulator. Oh, bye there.